Hello everyone, my name is Cynthia. Welcome to Apollo School Online. This is a drawing that we're gonna do for this class. Are you ready? Are you going to prepare your tools? And let's see what tools we're gonna need for today. Okay, today we're gonna do the watercolor. All right, so don't worry about the water. Don't worry about the color for now. We just want to do the pencil outline at the beginning. All right, so first of all, we have to check out our paper. You must have the watercolor paper. That's a special paper for the watercolor. So you will see watercolor on the cover. All right, and remember the mixed media paper. We can do the dry media work on the mixed media paper, and we also can do some light watercolor on the mixed media paper. All right, so either one, watercolor papers or mixed media paper. So can we use the printing paper for this time? No, we couldn't, all right, because that's too thin. And when we apply the water on the paper, it will be red. All right, so no printing paper. Only watercolor paper and mixed media paper. All right, so we don't need to worry about the watercolor and the brushes for now. You only need to have a pencil because we're gonna do the outlines and erasers, the sharpeners in case. So how about the tracing markers? We can keep that at the end. If you can't make the color look clean, you can make the color stay inside, then we can trace after the joint. All right, same thing. We need to have two different sides of the markers. All right, even we might not use it, but we will see, all right? The thin one and the thick one. All right, so make sure you have the right paper. And we can start. All right, so we're gonna start with our pencil outline for the watercolor, okay? So we're gonna do the grapes, all right? And the pencil outline is very simple and easy. We just do a bunch of the circle. All right, let's start with the first one. You can place that anywhere. If you have your watercolor paper, make sure you are using the front side, all right? The front touch like a little bit rough. The back side is more smooth, all right? Make sure you are using the rough side. All right, so let's do the grapes. Let me do my first one. How big is it supposed to be? If you are making them too small, then it's a little bit hard for you to do the watercolors. After. So make sure it's bigger than your two fingers, about three, two to three fingers big. All right, so each circle is about two to three. All right, make sure it's bigger than two, smaller than three. All right, so how many circles you you gonna do? I require you have to do 12 of them anywhere on your paper. For example, I can have my first one right here and the second one is go behind but same thing it's about two to three fingers big and I can have some gray is separately there go there by themselves alone some can be side by side some could be overlap to each other your choice all right so I'm looking for 12 circle on your paper and make sure you're placing them looks pretty looks balanced on your paper 12 then if you want to do more that would be okay if you have a bigger paper all right and make sure your pencil is very clean and very light we are not doing the sketch so make sure you are not making them too dark Watercolor cannot cover the pencil line. Okay, I have some of them overlap to each other like a group and some of them like separately. So the size is not the same. Some is about two fingers, but it's bigger than my two fingers. Some is almost like three fingers. Okay, so you have to make your grapes in between two to three they are not going to be exactly the same all right so i have to do three more
Every time I do my joint, I have to balance my joint, make sure right and left doesn't look like too much than the other side. So balance my joint. All right, then we have to add some a little bit stem for the grapes, but you don't have to add for each one of them. Okay, we just choose a few of them. All right, so let me do the tricky part. A little bit zoom in so you can see the detail. So I want this one joined to this one. So which means I have to erase some of the circle, like that. Like the stick. Or like the one we do the tree, we do the stick. Some of them. Like the cherry a little bit. Okay, see, I didn't do all of them, but I do. I really do some of them. All right, so feel free to add in the stem as many as you want to, and leave some just like the circle. All right. Okay, so we're done with the pencil outline. We don't do the leaf for today, okay? We will focus on the color blending for this time. So now you can start to prepare our watercolor tools and let's see what you're gonna need for the next step. Okay, so after we done the pencil outline for our watercolors, okay, so let's see the tools that uh, we need to use for the coloring. Okay, first of all, we are not using the pencil to do the color, we need to use the brush. So make sure the brush is very soft, okay? If you have the brush like the grass, very dry and very hard, that is not for the watercolor, that's for painting. All right, so make sure your watercolor brush is correct, it have to be soft. All right, so I need to have a big one, the middle one, and the teeny tiny one for the small area. All right, so that's the brushes. Of course, we need to have the water, and I would suggest that you can have two container for the water and make sure they are the cool water. Why we need two? One for washings, one for a pry on the watercolors. Okay, so we can keep the one of them looks always clean and one for washing the dirty colors. All right, so it's better to have two. All right, and we also need to have the towel. All right, so this is the fabric ones. I can reuse it all the time, so that's my watercolor. So you can see how dirty is it, okay? And if you don't have the towel just for watercolor, 
you can have your paper napkin but better to have the one that you can reuse it all right so we don't waste anything all right so of course you need to have the color it's sometimes the color looks like to the tube like this you can scratch on the trayer that you need all right so that's a container for my watercolors and we need to mix the color or create the color so you need to have a plate or a trayer okay so we always mix the color on the trayer and the plate so make sure you have the plate for that okay all right so that's it you have everything brushes with different sizes water colors towels and the trayer all right when you're ready then we can start to do the colors all right so first of all that's find your yellow colors okay a little bit we don't need that much just very very tiny we just want to color the background colors all right then find your biggest brush so the first step we're gonna brush the clear water on the paper just the clear water you don't have to color everywhere entire paper just around around the grapes apply the water just the clear water and find your biggest brush but if you don't have the bigger brush like this much you only have this tiny you can just apply use two brush at the same time so it will be faster All right, make sure you cover everywhere but when you start to cover the water on the paper the paper start to getting wet so the paper will be a little bit like wrinkly they will just like turn around so you can use the paper tape to tape the paper on the table all right all right I just finished a pride of water okay so now I just wait about 30 seconds to a minute when the water is go into the water paper okay so the watercolor paper gonna drink in the water before we apply the colors all right so but during this time i'm not going to waste the time remember we just prepared the yellow i add in the water on the trayer that's water and use the yellow into the water so it will become like the juice very liquid all right make sure it's very liquid like the juice all right so while I'm talking it's about 30 seconds so I still can see a little bit shiny color no not shiny flexion on my paper so I have to wait another 20 seconds or another minute when the water is really go into my paper otherwise my paper gonna be the swimming pool they're gonna carry too much water just wait a little bit all right so I just make sure I have my yellow mixed with the water properly and very very watery I don't want the yellow go too dark all right so now I can just start to brush the yellow on top see it's very light you can see a little bit yellowish but not that flesh yellow color it's just like the background color so I just simply color around but you see I have a few color go into my grapes color it's okay because it's very watery very light the purple or blue color can cover it so it doesn't matter just color a little bit yellow and leave the corner white so we can have the focal point all right then I done with the base color that's it so I just need to wait about two minutes when the background color is a little bit dry so I can start to color my grapes so that's wait for about two minutes
Alright, so during the same time I'm waiting, I just wipe up to clean my trays, trayer so I can prepare the next color so I can use. But some of you, if your watercolor paper is very thin, so which means it dries slower. So you can bring your hair dryer to blow it so it will dry faster. All right, so while we are still waiting, all right, so we can start to prepare our grapes colors. So if you have to purple, you can prepare the purple color. If you don't, then find the red color and the blue color. You can mix them and then you can cut the purple one. All right, so I need to have a purple colors. And let's see, it's too dark. You, you will not be able to see it. The purple colors. And I also need the blue color. Just a little bit, we don't need that much. And the red color. One, two, three. We only need the three colors. And the yellow, we still have one there. All right, so we're gonna do it step by step. All right, let's see. Let's do the first one. My paper is dry. All right, the grapes has the flexion because the skin is very, very smooth. So it will have a white flexion. So let's start with the red one. I use the red, mix with the water. So I got the red color and add in a little bit yellow just a little bit so I didn't make it become I didn't make it become orange I just make it red and not that fresh red so I added a little bit very very little yellow so it doesn't look like purple but it changed the fresh red color become a little bit brown in color all right let's see the first one so I'm gonna leave the flexions, right? So I make a small donut. Okay, and color around, make the donut become bigger. Then add in more red into it. Then color around. Be careful, you're not going to color so quick so the donut become bigger now it looks like bagel all right so now i can add in a little bit blue every time just a little bit so the color change into purple if you have purple just add, apply the purple mix into the red purple that we have but every time just a little bit but if you don't have purple you just add in more blue into the colors all right so that's my first grapes so for the next one I'm not going to do this one and this one because my first grapes hasn't dried yet if I'm doing this too my gray color will go in through crossing over to each other. The color cannot be clear. Okay, so I have to give out this two first and do the other one. When this one, the first one I did is totally dry, then I can do the other two. All right, so let me do this one more time. Let me wipe this up. Okay, do it again. So first one, red, mix with the water. Apply the yellow a little bit. We don't want to change the red color, become orange. We just make the red color become a little bit, not that fresh, a little bit brownish. Okay, then circle around the flexions. We are not going to color inside. It looks like this. 
So I can do it like two grapes at the same time. So it makes it a little bigger like the cereal or like the donuts. And the second step, adding more reds into the color that we just did and color outside around. So we will see a little bit pink color, a little brownie color become red color. Then adding just a little bit, a little bit blue into the color. So it now it changed become the purple and color around. So every time the color will change, but they are not jumping too quick. Every time just change a little bit. All right, then if you have the purple, adding the purple into it. If you don't have the purple, it's okay. I just apply more blue into the purple that we have. Right here, so the color will look darker, a slightly darker. So the last part, either one. Adding the purple if you have one. If you don't have purple, add in the blue. The resort will be very similar. All right, so now you can start to practice and 12 then could be repeating. So some of the gray could be a little bit darker, more blue, less red, it's okay. And some could have more yellow to make it more brighter. So all the grapes color won't be the same. So you don't have to limit yourself, but they have to come with the same tone. So for example, you are not making purple grapes with green grapes, okay? You could be go a little bit reddish purple, a little bit bluish purple, but they all look like the same family, all right? Now you can start.
Okay, so the key point for today, you have to make sure each grape, the color is separately, so you can see the color, they are totally different from each of them. And we want to do the color blending, so we will have the highlights, the light color, and we by using the blue color to change the purple color, become darker and darker, so that's color blending. Okay, so first keep the color clean, second practice the color blending. Alright, so for the next part, we're gonna do the stem. So if you don't have the yellow, then you can add the green colors. Alright, if you, the yellow is not enough, you can pop your green colors. If you still have the yellow color, don't waste it. So use the yellow color plus the blue color, then you got the green color. Okay, you will have the green color when you mix yellow and blue. But you already, if the yellow color is already finished, then you can just grab your green colors. Alright? So, let's see. I just have in my green colors. Same thing, I have to mix them with the water. Always with the water. And let's see how I'm doing it. I just trace... I just trace around, wash my brush, dry my brush, and blend in the colors. That's it. Simple. So make, let me make it bigger so you can see it's more clear. This one. I use my green colors. I trace my pencil all lines. Just that we trace with the markers, but now we are tracing with the watercolor brush. All right, and wash my brush. Release the water. Make sure there's too not too much water. All right, and bring the color to the middle. So the middle will has a little bit green color, but it's very light. That's it. Simple. Alright, so how many stems that you have and how many times you have to do.
All right, feel free if you want to add in the shadow. So the shadow color is purple and green. All right, just mix the purple and the green color. Then you got something brownie. Purple plus green. All right, let's see. So that's a highlight, which means the light is coming from the left top. So my shadow gonna be on the right button. So it will look like that. A little bit. Wash my brush, dry my brush, and bring the color out around the shadow that we just made. Simple. All right, so let me zoom in so you will see it's more clear. So use the shadow color to color on the bottom of right, nothing on the left. Wash the brush, dry my brush, and color around the shadow, not on the shadow, around the shadow. Then the water will bring the shadow out, so it will be blurred. That's it. All right. So now you can start to add in the shadow, but the sun shadow is go behind the grapes, so you won't see it.
So that's everything for today. We are just practice the blending color and how to keep the watercolor clean. All right. So when we're done, please sign the name and write down the dates. And that's why we done for the class.